Greetings, can Dennis Daniels here. Yes, it's New Year's Eve. Continually frustrated by the problems I've been having with the subtitle work group. I'm sorry, subtitles workshop. Uh, and not playing any of the videos. I'll give you a quick demonstration here. I went to the help files, as any self-respecting computer person will do. And <clears throat> went to the Coda John Doe's quintessential codec pack and downloaded the codec pack. Now you can see I've already downloaded it. I'll go ahead and download it again. Save file. I'll overwrite the existing one. You can see right there. Yes, I want to replace it. And it shows that it has been successfully downloaded. File size is 214K. That's wrong. So maybe I need to download it from here. Save the disk. I'll give it a new name. Save. Let's see the properties. Open containing folder. Uh, you probably need a download manager like Reget to download Codec Pack. Interesting. Well, both times it downloaded at 215K. I'm beginning to wonder if, in fact, the codec itself, this particular version, is messed up. Let me see if I can download it with uh, download all. Tac, tac, tac. I'll put it on the desktop. Tac. Click OK. Da 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 da. Start. All right, and progress. All right, that looks a little better. So downloading it straight from the HTTP seems to give some problems. File size is 1.64. File size is 1.65 here. So I had to use a downloader to facilitate this download and let me go take a look at it. Oh, properties, no, no, I want to range icons by modified, which would be this one. And that's the right, proper size, so let's go ahead and, oh, I don't want that, let's go ahead and start up that application. Oh, I'll go ahead and load them all because I don't know what I'm loading. Install. Coda installing while Coda is being installed. I should have actually, before I ran this, did a virus check to make sure it's not tearing out my hard drive into little pieces. I shall know soon. Close. And now, um, if I drag and drop, actually, I'll go ahead and restart Subtitle Workshop because it's very stiffy, stuffy. Title I loads. Tick tock, tick tock. Tick tock, tick tock. Speed is not an attribute I would give to my computer. Tick tock, tick tock. Tick tock, tick tock. Still loading. Tick tock, tick tock. I think it was faster starting a subtitle workshop for that. So I'll go ahead and click on that. So it only, with one click, it should load. Ooh, SRT is borked. Um, but that should not stop us. We are used to problems with Cyrillic by now. So let's just drag and drop the correct Cyrillic. Ooh, that's not encouraging at all. Doesn't work at all now. Uh, let's try the movie now. Let's see if it works. That was the point of this particular exercise. Let's see if it picks up the codex necessary to play this AVI. I just did a drag and drop. Of course, I could open the movie directly from inside. We'll see if anything changes. Yes! Ladies and gentlemen, we have success. The movie is loading. You can see it in its tiniest form there. Let's go ahead and stop the movie and see if we can get the Cyrillic 
files to load. Load original. I'm going to load the original SRT, which is right there. And open, and hello, we have ignition. So when I play, let's see if it's smart enough to detect where I am in the movie. No, it's not. So the movie's playing up here. Give it some audio. See if the audio works. Audio appears to work. And down here is the subtitles. So we'll go ahead and say goodbye and happy New Year's and happy computing to all those people who try to understand Cyrillic. Happy computing.